Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where once again, ladies and gentlemen, you can guess it, we are together going to be jumping straight into the Bitcoin chart. I'm going to be keeping this one short, sweet, professional and to the point, giving you the exact and only information that you need right now to be successfully trading Bitcoin alongside me. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this video, not only enjoy it, but also absorb the information, really listen to what I'm saying, take in those insights let me pass on that knowledge and yeah, let's just improve together and, you know, continue as we mean to go on into 2023. So I'm going to pick up where we left off yesterday's video. OK, where obviously I was talking about a short position on Bitcoin, still in that short, by the way, of course, first giving that information to my team saying I'm going to remain short and chill on Bitcoin on all time frames, looking for lower. And of course, a little bit later, that drop did come as I was talking about, uh, you know, staying in that short position during yesterday's video. What well, we were around here on the Bitcoin chart, 7, 16, 800 since then. Obviously, since dropped to around 16,550, which if you had marked out was that point of control. So I've locally had a swing failure pattern of that last low. OK, of that low of that swing failure pattern zone for a little bit of a bounce. One thing that I will uh, like to bring attention to is what happened yesterday after I made the video. So I made the video here on this section, OK, on this candle. After that video was released, we had a little bit of a rise to the upside. OK, we had this rise to the upside here. During that rise to the upside, we come up and we took the last high here, taking a little bit of liquidity. And this is what it means by sticking to the plan until invalidated. We got to stick to that plan, which is for lower. This is not an invalidation, right? And this comment uh, in particular, I'd like to highlight because they say, Daniel, there seemed to be a fake push up right before the drop top left of the pick. He's referring to this candle right here. If you do come down on a lower term time frame, you can see we can also refer to this as the fake pump here. OK, wanted to say that almost scared me out of my short, but kept my conviction because of your video this morning. Thank you for the help. OK, it's like I say here, sometimes people just need that little boost of confidence by me giving my trading opinion, by me saying, you know, I am short and chill. I am looking for lower. I'm not going to be scared out on any you know, little rise to the upside here. I'm going to keep that target, keep looking for lower. And sometimes people just need my trading opinion to give them that boost of confidence to stick to their original play, you know, original idea, original play out. And, you know, obviously, of course, I am here happy to provide that to you. So it's great to see that my video yesterday gave people that added boost of confidence to hold on to those short positions positions and look for lower prices because of course right now we have had those lower prices come so now we can be thinking to ourselves okay we actually now have some new levels to be aware of new data to be trading from okay uh, so I'd like to, uh, you know, of course, give my opinion on that now uh, first of all I'd, I'd just like to address this comment as well because this will kind of made me laugh and uh, it was in reference to uh, me showing some profits that I made here, $90,000 current unrealized profits. And uh, the <laughs> I had a comment saying, Daniel, show us once your damn trade without blurring everything like a scared boy. Um, Those profit I kind of referred him to this, this video. $147,000. Okay, that trade has since been compounded, by the way. So that's now a $4.3 million short position with a value here around 222 BTC. And, you know, basically okay. I'm referring to this is because when have you ever seen me blur a position? So like I say, there are levels to this game. I've never blurred anything. First of all, how is this blurred? And here is the actual trade. If you want to see that trade for itself, there's nothing blurred here. If you know the difference between me and other YouTubers that you'll see, I'm never blurring out trade positions. You don't see me coming on Twitter, you know, blurring out things. You know, this this is I'm not the scared boy. I'm not the scared boy. I'm out here trading several multi million dollar position sizes, not blurring anything. So I just kind of had to first a kind of this, this is just think, wow, um, how am I a scared boy blurring out position sizes? That is nothing you've ever seen me do. And it's nothing I'm ever going to be doing. I have no reason to be scared. I'm not out here training with one dollar positions like many people do. That's the main reason why people blur, right? They blur out because they're training with like one dollar or, you know, very just silly positions. I'm not blurring anything. I'm giving full transparency, full, you know, <laughs> this is my position. This is what I'm doing. And I'm still in that short position looking for lower right 1.5 million dollars on this current trade was a bit of a day trade that's ended into a bit of a uh, swing trade but 
you know, there we go. I'm going to now go back into this and resume the analysis of today. I just had to address that barbaric comment and probably the last time I'll address these these type of comments because I think we can all agree this. It's not needed inside of CC pool. We are not the fakers of the space. Uh, so I continue <laughs> and I'm going to continue by saying, you know, I'm still obviously in that short position as just showed you still in that short, still believe we can hit lower prices here. Even if we are to get a rise in price first to retest resistance, I still believe that we can come down lower overall. Of course, we have locally taken that last low, which gave us our swing failure pattern of the low that was put in on the 22nd of December. You know, for some people, this could be a scalp long position. This could be a take profit on their short I was going to take profit on this if I was awake during this move, but it happened at 3 a.m. I had no take profits preset, and this this is a not a large enough of a bounce for me to wake up at 3 a.m. for. Okay, so I decided to just stay in my trade, <clears throat> and I'll, I'll I'll basically move along on this depending on how price action comes within the next uh, really the few hours as we well probably the next four hours or so as we go into U.S. Uh, market open. But essentially, I'll be either looking for a move up to around 16,850 for a retest of this point in control where I can look for the compound. Alternatively, we continue this local downtrend, right? So we come down on a lower term time frame. We're just continuously making these lower lows and lower highs. So we'll either get one of two things happening next. We'll continue the downtrend. We'll look to take that low again. I can look to lock in that take profit because this time I'm going to be awake. And uh, or second of all, we do get a reversal here and we come back and we test this point of control where we'll either be looking for the reclaim or a simple another rejection. Okay. So for me, uh, it's uh, the calm and collected approach as always. I'm more than happy to stay in this short. One thing you have to remember is I've got a good funding rate on my side, right? 0 0.01 funding rate of a position size of 1.5 million. This guarantees me every day $450 for doing absolutely nothing. I'm guaranteed $450 every day on this trade currently right and that's if you don't understand funding rate 0.01% of 1.5 million is $150 times three I'm bagging $450 a day on this position okay just by collecting the funding rates of course this is for me a, a small position that I'm just holding here on the chart champions trading account of course, I have my main positions on my on my uh, larger, bigger accounts, but this one is run uh, for the sake of transparency that I'm happy to show. But I do know that you have all thoroughly requested that I restart my challenge. Obviously, this was a 25 uh, original account. I have brought this to over 200 bitcoins. And, uh, you know, now a lot of it's back into Tether. But nevertheless, you want to see me restart the challenge and I'm happy to do so. So I'm going to be either starting with $100. A lot of people want to see $100 or the $1,000. For myself personally, I probably would lean towards the thousands um, just because it's, it's at least a slightly bit more exciting for myself. But um, yeah, people want to see more relatable position sizes. Oh, no, it's all well and good seeing those position sizes. I showed you, you know, $5 million, $4 million, $1 million, you know, but people would like it to be a little bit more relatable. See how I'm building up the smaller accounts. You know, the process are the same. At the end of the day, the number is kind of irrelevant. But you want to see the process. You want to see it more relatable. So I'm, I'm happy to bring you that in 2023. Okay. Uh, but for now. I will stay in this uh, $1.5 million short position, still looking for lower targets. And, um, you know, the next levels that we can, we can obviously see some key levels here. I'm looking for one more take of the low where we could look for the three drives pattern. Okay, three drives pattern. If we do not fall, form the three drives, we got our two daily barriers down below us. Okay, so I recommend that you just kind of copy these levels, you know, add the analysis on, on your charts. Okay, this is what I would recommend to people. Add the analysis on that I'm giving you here. Okay, it's not going to hurt. And, um... You can see you can start to construct the analysis you see here, the middle of our channel that I've just added on here, really respected resistance into support, back into resistance. There's never a random pivot on the chart. Everything is absolutely technically perfect. Um, so, you know, add on these levels, check the reactions, take the trades. Again, if you want those little insights and updates live in the time well then that's where you can get that over at chartchampions.com had my champions live stream last night where you can see having some nice elliot wave theory in last night's champions live stream so if you want to check out those elliot wave counts that's in the champions live stream if you want the education of course you've got that all in the courses you've got the hour-long videos you've got the speed run which is the hour-long video condensed into five ten minutes you've got the video library you've got the glossary you've got the vault where you've got all the templates and templates and cheat sheets you can ever need so if you want the best education if you want daily live streams if you want live trading streams if you want those higher term time frame swing trade plans we can get all of that and more over at chartchampions.com okay so if you are the trader that does lack confidence if you do want to learn a side 
other people inside of a trading community, well, we are the one for you right now. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Hope that I've made you aware of what's gone on over the past 24 hours. Of course, mainly that fake out, why it pays to have confidence and stick to your trading plans as we did come down and in the end take this low here, which was the low onto the point of control. From now, I am summarizing and just saying to you, I will look for the three drives pattern, which is drive one, drives two, drives three. Then I will either see if we get that three drives for a potential long scope or alternatively, if we don't get that, stay in that short trade. I've got two daily barriers down below. 16.429, Okay, point of control coming in there around 16.850, let's say, and then the higher daily there, 16.919. Okay, so those are the levels that I'm looking at today. For now, it's a simple case of remaining patient. I've not got a trade where we are right now. Half the game is, is a matter of patience. What I will say is while I am remaining patient on Bitcoin, the altcoins are offering great volatility. Just because they're red, that does not mean I'm scared to trade them. I actually do like to short altcoins, okay? Even altcoins that I've been historically bush, bullish on, right? You asked me like one and a half years ago, I was very bullish on altcoins such as Atom, such as Dot, such as Algo, but those coins I still hold shorts on, right? So I, you know, I'm short on Dot, I'm short on Atom, I'm short on Tesla. You know, the, these altcoins, <clears throat> you can make money on the drops just as you can hold them long term for the long term gains. You've got to know when to hedge, you've got to know when to short. And today is a great day of an example of that, right? So at the end of the day, all we want is volatility. Just as on Bitcoin, we can make money when it's going down. Absolutely on the altcoins, we can make even more money when they are going down because these fall like lead balloons at times. So, you know, if you are waiting for your setup on Bitcoin, just as I am right now, I'm just patiently waiting for either the rise or drop next. Uh, you know, I'm going to take advantage and trade some altcoins. So, uh, yeah, that'll be the wrap up of the day. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, as always, I, I would absolutely love any constructive criticism, any feedback. You can leave it in the comments below. I read every single comment. Don't always have the time to reply, but I will always read every single comment. Each one brings a smile to my face, love or hate. <laughs> At the end of the day, I love you all. There's nothing you can do to, <laughs> to put me down. So, you know, leave whatever you want down below. I will read everything. And uh, I wish you an absolutely wonderful 2023 ahead it's like i say um in da -da 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 -da, uh i like i say here la -la 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 in this one uh i'm so hyped for what's to come in 2023 cc pool are going to take over hard in the training space i am not going to stop until i have a full team of champions crushing the charts alongside me every day that's my number one goal that is what we are going to achieve we're not going to stop until we have got that <laughs> so that's basically my goal uh i'm gonna wrap it up here i'm just gonna say thank you ever so much before i ramble on too long and um yeah if you want to see more from me you know where to get it well myself and the rest of the team right chartchampions.com you can ch check in on the live stream that's happening absolutely right now then, then. so cheers everybody thank you and goodbye